Welcome to another episode of the 604 Garage. So today what we're going to do is we're going to fix this, the horrible lighting in my garage. So like most of you with a standard 20 by 20 garage, all you get are these two fluorescent fixtures which do not put out nearly enough lighting. Not enough to work on your vehicle and not enough to film video which I'm going to attempt to do here going forward. So this is the 604 garage headquarters and we need to improve the lighting. So. Let's get started and see what we can do to fix that. And here it is. Here's the kit I'm going to use, which came from Amazon. That means it was cheap. Comes with these six LED tubes. They're 20 watts. They are the 4K warm natural light color. I didn't go with the 6K ultra bright white because I didn't want that hospital sterile look. Um, what does it come with? Well, it comes with two of these that you could hardwire. It comes with what I'm gonna use, what most people use. These guys here which plug into your 110 and they also have a plug which goes into the end of each tube. Comes with one of these little jumpers or adapters which will allow you to put two tubes right together so it looks like one seamless long tube. Um, I'm gonna use these because these can allow me to move and bend and maybe even do a 90. It allowed me to make different design on the ceiling, whatever works for me. It also comes with these little clips here, which comes with these two screws. In reality, these screws aren't gonna work because I'm going through drywall, I'm going through my ceiling, so I'll get something a lot longer. But these little clips go into your structure or something solid, and it comes with, of course, a little plug for the end that you're not um, a dish adding onto. So this is the kit. Um, we're going to see how it works. And one interesting thing to note, how I'm lighting this area right now, like to show you how poor the lighting in the garage is, we've got to look up here and yes, I've got a flashlight strapped to the rail of my garage door and then underneath the cabinets, I've actually got supplementary lighting from two different flashlights. So this is a really, really poor lighting in here and we're going to try to improve on that. So I think what I'm going to do is run four of these lights in between these two fluorescent fixtures here, perpendicular to kind of light up what's directly underneath it, which of course is the car. The other two I'm going to run parallel to this fixture here so it throws light down on my workbench because that's where I really have a lot of problems. As you could see before when I was filming the kit and I, I explained to you that there has to be a lot of supplementary lighting there. So it is really, really, really poor lighting. So I'm going to get started and put these lights up and I'm going to put you guys down over here and you can watch. And uh, at the end, we'll do a little review and see how they look. But before we can actually get started, we have to move the Camaro outside and it's pouring rain. I don't know if you can see that out there, but it is absolutely bucketing. So as much as I don't like to put the car in the water in the rain, we're going to have to get it done.
Okay, now that they're on the ceiling, I don't like the way the cords are gonna run, so I'm gonna have to work out something different. So let's do that next. And the wiring, well, it's not the best. It may not even be that safe, but uh, you know, these are LEDs, so I think it's okay. But uh, what I have done is connected everything and I do have now a switch. So here's the before and here's the after. It's a lot, a lot brighter. Well, that's it for me, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it gives you an idea of what you can do with this type of lighting in your garage on an absolute budget. 75 bucks and it increased the lighting dramatically in here. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you at the next one and uh, keep the shiny side up. Now what am I gonna do with this wet car? <laughs>